Recently, one of my customers asked me about how they can combine their inventory accounts. They had discovered by accident they had created two items when there should have only really been one. And this could be done using the Professional Services Tool Library. We call it PISTOL for short. So if it's installed in your GP, you can access it on the navigation pane. And if you don't see it, you can simply click on the little icon at the bottom and get to it that way. So I'm going to open up the pistol. And you can see there's really only one option, so we'll click on that option. Then the Professional Services Tool Library window will open. Now, anytime you perform any of these tasks in the pistol, you need to make sure you're the only one in the system, and you're going to need to make sure that you've performed a good SQL backup before you started. And the reason why you want to be the only one in the system and perform the backup is you're going to be changing data in the system. And so it's critical that you're the only one who has access to that record while it's happening. So to achieve what they want to achieve, combining two items into one, we're going to utilize the inventory tools. And so in the inventory tools section, you'll see item number combiner. So that is the one we're going to perform. So I'm simply going to click on next and I get this little window that pops up, item number combiner. So I want to know the one I want to combine into the second one. So I do not want to keep the one that's called fee. All right, I want to keep the one that is called five dash fee. And you can see the look up here it works the same as well. So I'm going to keep five dash fee, but anything that's been done to fee will then combine into five dash fee. That includes if I've sold that item or if I've added inventory or if there is inventory. So once I have that done, I'm simply going to click on convert. You'll notice I could do this in mass by pulling in an entire list and I'm not going to do that now though. So I'm going to go ahead and click on convert. And after I click on convert, this window opens. Before running this process, you need to make sure you do a SQL backup of your company data. I'm going to say continue and it'll begin to run. And again, you want to do the backup because you are changing data. And if there is a problem that occurs during this function, you want to be able to go back to the way the data was before you started. It was very quick. It's already combined. So I'll close that out. It's going to give me a report. And you can see in the report, that was the starting one. Now it's that. And so if I go back into my inventory and I go into cards for my inventory, if I try to look up the one that's called fee, it doesn't exist. But the one that's five dash fee does exist. They've been combined. I hope this helps.